really replace steel with any other material for reinforcing concrete? Is it just because that the concrete is weak in tension and strong in compression and so we need a material that is really weak in tension? So we need really a material that fits this or fit the purpose of taking the tension forces? Actually, it's not the case. Steel is strong in tension, yes, and it's even 100 times stronger than the concrete. But what if we use gold? For example, just for the sake of argument, if gold and steel are, are, are of the same price, assuming that they, they have the same price, is it just because the, the problem is just because the price? Actually, gold can reach tensile strength almost equal to the steel, which is 420 megapascal. If you freeze it, if you do, if you Google just the tensile strength of gold, there are different types of gold and different ways they do it. They can reach a tensile strength of 420. So what is the real, what is the magic behind putting steel and concrete together? Actually, there is something called thermal or coefficient of thermal expansion. The coefficient of thermal expansion of concrete and steel are almost equal. 6.5 times 10 power negative 6 per temperature. That's the one, that's the coefficient of thermal expansion of steel. And the concrete is 5.5. So what does that mean? That means the bonding is perfect. And that means they will move together, right? So bonding is good. They will expand together and shrink together. So the bonding is really very well. And not only this, the concrete, because the steel is subjected into, to, into corrosion, so the concrete pr provides a protection from the environment when we add a cover, you know, that when we draw a section, of steel and concrete right so for example that's a beam and we have reinforcement here we put this as a cover for protection and cover from the top of course when you have a steel here all right so it's about the thermal coefficient of expansion since they have the same thermal coefficient of expansion it is a really perfect bonding if we use gold it doesn't have the same uh, thermal of expansion and means that they will not even bond perfectly and they will not even subject they will not even uh, move together contract together and you will have problems in bonding so it's definitely will have problems in face or taking the tension probably the concrete will crack and the concrete will move in in x direction and the gold will move in y direction it's a really big problem so scientists find out till now steel is the best and the only only material that can be used for reinforcing concrete to take the tension force.